Since the debate over the European referendum started, I've heard lots of people saying that Europe isn't democratic. So I wanted to share with you what I have learned about how the EU works so that you can judge for yourself whether or not this is true. First of all, I sit in the European Parliament because of the votes of the millions of people who live in the southwest of England, and I was elected through a democratic and representative process. But how much power do I actually have? Well, most of European laws are agreed by three bodies, of which the Parliament is one. The others are the Commission and the Council. The Commission is the body most people are worried about when they say that laws are imposed by unelected bureaucrats. This is simply not true. It is true that the Commission employs many civil servants who are experts in writing law, but it is run by 28 commissioners, one coming from each member country. If in Britain we have not had as much influence on the Commission as we might like recently, the main reason is that we failed to work constructively with other countries, and we've also often sent a commissioner who was hostile to the EU, or a person of little importance or influence. If you demonstrate a lack of respect for a body, you are hardly likely to achieve influence there. The third arm of the EU, which people don't talk about much, is the Council. This is where 28 ministers, one from each country that's a member of the Union, meet up to make the final decision about laws that have been put forward by the Commission and amended by the Parliament. In almost all cases, the UK has had a chance to stop law that was against our national interest. Of course, my power in the Parliament is also limited because the Greens are a significant but still fairly small group in the European Parliament, with 50 MEPs out of 751. Obviously, I would like us to have more members and more power, but the Parliament represents how people across Europe voted, and what could be more democratic than that? It means that we need to cooperate with the larger groups to get things done, but that is what a genuine democracy looks like, negotiation to make sure that everybody gets some of what they want. What a contrast with the unrepresentative, winner-takes-all system we have at Westminster. It's also worth saying that while the European Parliament may not seem as powerful as the Westminster Parliament, it is actually a lot more democratic in terms of representing the wishes of voters. That's because all countries, including ours, use a proportional system for European elections. So the members of the Parliament more closely represent the wishes of the people than is true of the grossly unrepresentative House of Commons, to say nothing of the unelected House of Lords. All political systems are complex and you can always find flaws in them, but there is a lot of direct and indirect democracy in the way that European laws are made. I really am living proof of that. And if the structures look a bit unwieldy, that's because we're dealing with something more like a club of countries than a nation in its own right. The EU is a unique experiment in cooperation between countries. Of course it isn't perfect and we're working all the time to improve it, but it is certainly not undemocratic.